How you doing guys? I'm Sean, welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, today's Ramble, today's video, quite a serious enough topic. Um, and I think it's going to be an enjoyable topic, but I love to... I love to actually get people to think about their photography. A few months back there, I did a video. And I called it professional photographers versus weekend photographers. Who wins? And in that video, I touched on... I'm going to make about a minute the clip in that within that video that I touched on. Um, I warned professional photographers and I'd say, look, your days are numbered because of digital photography. I think digital photography is the best thing since life bread. I think it's amazing myself. I love it. I used to be a professional photographer up until 2003. And, so, and I was taking a photography from 1986, 87. So I earned a, a full-time living from photography within that period. Um, I'd done various other jobs as well, so I was semi-professional within that, but I was always earning money from photography throughout. And when I walked away from my old life, I closed a studio down a photography studio. We're doing public relations and advertising. I was earning 45 sterling per hour. I was well paid at what I was doing. The fact of the matter was, and I was getting the contracts and I was getting the gigs. But the fact of the matter was, so I have an experience there between running a business, a successful business at that up until I walked away from my old life in a state of depression when it all went down down the toilet, as I say. But where I am now, I'm not a professional photographer. Although I've got the knowledge within to be a professional photographer, I'm not earning a full-time living. I'm not even earning a, a part-time living from it. So I'm speaking that for someone who's about to embark back into their being a professional photographer, making this my sole, uh, part, my, my sole income. So I'm a businessman in my mindset. I used to be a businessman. And I'm sitting looking at the current market. Now the fact of the matter is, is when I say to somebody that the days of professional photography is finished, is over, is coming up to being over, people are like, oh, you, you can't say that. There's always going to be a need for professional photographers. Don't talk shit. Don't talk rubbish. Like Somebody left a comment here. Very good comment, by the way. Being a serious street photographer, I like your street content. But are you seriously suggesting that a weekend photographer could do David Bailey or Anna Leibovitz out of work? Well, in answer to that, no. And I wasn't suggesting it, and I would never suggest that. But the fact of the matter is, is not everybody's David Bailey. Not everybody's Anna Leibovitz. But the fact of the matter is, is the professional photographer who has a studio, or the five or six of them who has the studios in every town, um, in every city, and they've got, they're relying on people, clients getting... You know, to book them or people walking in off the street to book them for they could be wedding photographers portraits could be pr advertising when it was film there was always competition and it was healthy to have competition still healthy to have competition but the difference between in the film days the analog days compared to the digital days is a photographer had to know how to use the camera they had to know about lighting they had to know about shooting in manual they had to know about, you know, shutter speeds. They had to know about studio lights. They had to know about flash. What happens if the flash doesn't work? They had to know, you know, what way ISO or ISA, sorry, ASA or ISO and ASA affect, you know, the film and the final outcome. And they get it all within that 36 exposure, 24 or 12 or 12 or whatever when you're shooting, 6 by 6 or medium format. And to put all that knowledge together and to to compose a group or to compose a photograph and to take that photograph without being able to look at an LCD screen to see if it's come out and to know that it has to be got within that one film or two films if you're choosing to shoot that many. And the fact of the matter was is because of the needing to get that knowledge, because you had to rely on getting the photographs back, then take it to your client. If you hit a couple of dud photographs you, you were hoping to get one or two photographs out of that out of the film but if you consistently didn't you know get the results you wouldn't get booking you'd have been cut loss i've seen so many photographers come and go weekend photographers there was always weekend photographers those who had full-time jobs and as a hobby you know when they were shooting film i'm talking about the old days now the old days as if i'm an old man with the old beard like but we're talking about you know up in the 80s and in the 90s in reality, there was always weekend photographers. There's always been weekend photographers from dawn of day whenever photography started. So there's always been competition. There's always been competition from weekend photographers, people who had a full-time job 
had a full time wage and dabbled in a bit of photography. There's Uncle Uncle Harry there, he's got his camera. Uncle Harry, would you do this here and take a photograph of us? And he would have went round and local thing. But because Uncle Harry had a full time wage coming in, you know, he wasn't really a threat as such because you know, he, he would have got the, the lower lower end of the you know, the the customer because we're happy enough to save a couple of quid. But even Uncle Harry would have got cut loose when it came to PR or become the advertising or become the press. But nowadays, with the digital technology, you can't really make a mistake. The composition, that can be learned. That actually can genuinely be learned. But more importantly, I have seen so many, as this, my journey now is getting back into professional photography again, I'm looking at the marketplace. I can see photographs, and you can see it as your photographer. You walk around, everybody has a phone now with a camera on top of it. Every office will have a digital camera at their disposal and they can plug it into their computer. And next you see is Sammy down in the storeroom is great on uh, Photoshop and he'll do, I'll tweak a photograph for your boss and he tweaks a photograph and next you see it's on their Facebook page and their social media or your man's with the phone and he's taking it. This all used to be, although social media was never there in the context in the old days, Keep in mind when I'm 10 the old days, I'm talking about the analogue days before the digital really embraced the technology. Photographers were paid money to go into a company to take their photograph, often presenting somebody a cheque, or their staff do whenever they're presenting awards for best sales, or their photographs that they wanted to send in with public relations, photographs with a, with a PR article for the local newspaper. You needed somebody there with a bit of knowledge who knew how to use a film camera. But nowadays, most companies have their own cameras. And most people are using social media now. Now, you come to wedding photography. Wedding photography is possibly, I believe, one of the most difficult um, genres of photography to do. There's a lot of photographers out there, a lot of wedding photographers, very good wedding photographers, a lot of bad wedding photographers. And they were always up against a weekend photographer when they're shooting film. Yeah, because all they had to do was like think. But even nowadays, there's so many people with digital photography. Pfft, photograph, looking at the back, they've got the can, they've got it in there, they know they can do it. And if anybody genuinely believes that digital photography is not going to close down um, possibly 90% of professional photographers, as we know it, or we knew it, you only have to look at the high streets now. You only have to look at the shopping malls. People that are selling 20, oh, sorry, that's it, 20, 8 photographs, 10 by 8 photographs of their children dressed or their wee cowboy outfits or angel wings. And have You see them all in the shopping malls throughout the world. And the guy standing there with a the tripod and they're on the wall beside him. Um, 8 photographs for $15. Do you know what I mean? Are you honestly telling me that that guy is not doing the studio who has overheads to pay and who's wanting this get $45 or $50 or $100, $200 for the put. That guy's not doing him out of business. That's not just one guy. You know, when there was stills, when we were shooting film, you only had a handful of people who was up against us as professional photographers and they were weekend photographers and you knew they were there, but they were no real threat because there was enough work to go around. The difference is when people say, oh, there's still enough work to go around. There's not because there's possibly a hundred times more photographers now because of digital. So if you honestly think for one moment that you're a professional photographer, you've got a studio there, or you're gonna do advertising, you're gonna do public relations, or you're gonna nail photography, you're gonna be a professional photographer, and I'm gonna earn a full-time wage from my photography because I've got this camera and I'm gonna be able to do it. You're not looking at your market. Because let me tell you, digital is here. Digital is a way to go. And more offices, more companies. I was in the local shopping centre, local Tesco supermarket, and there's photographs up on the wall. And I actually have a video clip of it. The photographs on the wall were clearly not taken by a photographer. But they were staff photographs. There would have been a time that they would have hired a photographer to come in to take that photograph. It's all about saving money now. It's all about them it's actually you know, shooting the photographs themselves to keep their costs down and because everybody's a photographer now. It comes to wedding photographers, it's, as I said already mentioned, it's so much easier now. 
you still get the fear of not going. But ask any wedding photographer. I've probably done about 15 weddings in my lifetime. And although I knew how the camera worked, although I knew the conversation, although I knew the poses, because it was at it for long enough, although my main game was public relations advertising, I also done, like, like most people starting out, I done portraits, I done studio, I even done portraits around people's homes with a collapsible background and a wee portable studio lights. So I'd done all that through it. I'd also done weddings as well. And I was also a weekend photographer as well. So I'm talking about experience. But the difference is there's a fear there that that film is not going to come out well. Now there's no fear. The photographer with a digital camera is cleaning up. I now see people offering 1,000 photographs. 1,000 photographs from a wedding. 2,000 photographs from a wedding. Also scanned, and will also give you lower resolution so you can actually use them on social media. 2000, like. When we were doing weddings, you were lucky getting the person to purchase 80 photographs. The person never got to see any more. It was quality over quantity. Now it's quantity over quality. So guys, when I'm actually saying that the day as a professional photography is over, of course there's always going to be somebody who's going to be earning a full-time wage from photography. Of course there's going to be. So is it always going to be completely obliterated? No. But professional photography is dead and gone the way the profession used to be. Now this is not me checking, like an old guy's falling down. It, it's not about that. The fact of the matter is I love digital. I love the fact that there's people out there saying, you know what, I want to be a photographer. I want to start earning money from this. I want to start, you know, I want to better my life here. Leave my, my job that I don't like. I love photography. I want people to do that. And do it but don't be so naive to think that you're getting into a profession the way that it used to be it's a cutthroat business any business is a cutthroat business so the fact of the matter is is, is professional photography's day is numbered yes it is it's already it's already the research that i've even done so far i know i'm getting into the profession of photography again what the photographer has to do is offer more offer more of a service um, deliver more, not necessarily more photographs. Look at these photographs of people getting wedding photographs, 2,000 photographs. Catch yourself on. Catch yourself on. Who wants that many? You're creating a monster here. I know what I can do. I can offer more photographs. Your photographs are shit if you're offering 2,000 photographs at a wedding. You're honestly telling me you're putting out your hand in over 2,000 wonderful photographs. As I say, that professional photography is gone. It's gone. Everybody with a camera is a photographer, and rightly so. But there's so many people out there with the advance of digital photography. And, you know, it's not that any fool can do it. But the fact of the matter is, is that you get yourself a camera. So many people shooting in program mode. So many people on, on full auto. And stick a flash on, they go like that. It doesn't take a brains of an archbishop. And it never really did, even when it was filmed. Photography is not difficult. Taking a photograph different, uh, capturing you know, works of art is different. That's something that doesn't matter whether it's digital or film. Well, it's not necessarily true. The difference is if you were shooting film and you were trying to work on a piece of photograph of, of a still life, and you were sitting shooting and waiting to get it developed, you still had to take your time to get it right in camera. But the fact now with digital, you could actually sit and you can sit and fire and look at the LCD or look at the, you know, linked onto the laptop and sit and look and fire away and adjust the light as you're looking. It's not costing you one cent. So is professional photography, you know, days numbered up 100%. You know, am I one of these uh, doom and gloomers? No, I'm not because I'm going to become a professional photographer again and I'm, I'm excited about it. But I'm not naive to think that, you know, where before that you had like a sort of a level playing field, you had to know your camera, you rub against people who had to know their camera, so they had no more advantage over you. The difference is with digital, people are able to go in, they're able to charge virtually nothing. In fact, probably charge zero. Oh, give us a bit of a credit on several YouTubers are, I've seen with, you know, a lot, a lot of subscribers is doing work for nothing um, and putting it out there. And you're turning and say, well, that's getting good PR for me. At, at that standing, if you're up at that much guru level, that you've got uh, so many hundreds of thousands of subscribers there and people watching what you're saying, and you're giving away your work free of charge because you need somebody to give you a bit of PR, 
then you're lacking confidence in your work and that's damaging right the whole way down but it's good to give away free stuff you're going to be doing um, charity work you're going to be doing x y and z by all means do the free work but there's so many people who just want to see their name on a facebook page or a facebook posting or on a newspaper on a magazine they're giving it away free you only have to look at apple um, the iPhone side, actually the competitions that they're running. Or if you shoot the photographs of the iPhone 6, you could win. Send us your photograph. You look at the small print. Even if you win or not, they're saying tell you that we can use your photographs in our advertising to show off the thing. But we will give you credit for it. And people go, look at that. Huh, iPhone? There's my photograph on a billboard in California. My name, look, that's, that's me. It's one of my photographs. But they haven't got a pound or a euro or a dollar for it. Ego. That's what you're up against. So, it's probably one of my heavier videos, but the fact of the matter is, this is it. Um, you know, people's commenting and, and people saying, oh, rubbish, like, you're not gonna do David Bailey out of work. Of course you're not. But David Bailey has already built his standard up. Well, young Backham, David Backham's son. You know, he having a career in photography and he's getting doors open to him because of, of who he is. Not because of quality of his photographs, but because of who he is. That's nepotism. And that's always been there. That's always been there. But if you put Young back until the side, and I actually like a lot of his photographs. I don't know why he shoots it, maybe point and shoot or whatever. But if he's getting the photographs, he's getting the photographs, and he's entitled to do that. But taking him to the side, you know, there's probably 100,000 photographers who would go to the Lake of Burberry or go to the Lake of you know any company and say look this is my portfolio i'll do it for free and that's what you're up against so professional photography the days are numbered and just because there's a type or a professional photographer to be a professional photographer you have to be earning a full-time wage semi-professional you're earning a part-time wage and if you're not earning a wing you're not earning a cent from it then you're not a professional you're not a semi you're an amateur okay i'm currently an amateur photographer um, i used to be a professional i will be a professional again um how long that lasts i don't know but let me tell you no matter how long it lasts it's certainly going to be completely different from when it was years ago it's not me you know the sky's falling down facts are facts so if you honestly think for one moment that digital photography is not wiping out professional photography in the context that i've talked about you're very naive you're very naive and I would actually say that you've grown up in the digital era and you haven't got a clue about the old profession of photography but it's gone it's completely gone well not completely but certainly it's on its way out it's hanging in there by the fingernails guys listen let me know your thoughts and as I say I tell you that you know we're not all here just to give each other lip service I genuinely want to encourage debate I want people to exchange views and we don't all have to agree um, I'm only showing you mine and I honestly feel that you know if you're considering embarking on a, on a career of professional photography and you haven't addressed this issue that you're going up against not just people who've got you know great skills and better skills than you um, but you're going up against maybe I would even say probably a hundred times more competition now than there would have been in 15 years ago 20 years ago with the advance of digital photography that's who you're going up against and once you know who your competition is then you can make the adjustments and uh actually make make, make your plan of attack to do it but don't be naive to think it's not happening it's happening it's here and embrace it don't try to say it's not happening you know i don't want to hear it it's not happening um if you're a professional photographer and you believe that Say adios to your business. You're going to have to bend and flow with it. Adapt with it. Give people what they're looking. And they'll go to say, maybe there's a job there for you to go around shops and businesses who are going to be doing this anyway. And maybe provide teaching them how to use cameras so that they can do it all in-house. Um, you're taking away business from other people. Yeah, 100%. But that's progression. That's what's happening. And nothing's going to stand in this way. Guys, send you love from Ireland. <laughs> good old debate um, send you love from Ireland thanks again for watching if you haven't already done so please do subscribe check me out on Twitter and on Facebook and also Flickr and uh, ramblesmycamera.com guys send you love from Ireland see you later